I'm in my upper 30s, and believe it or not, kids, I'm still pretty naive to a lot of things that go on in this world. One thing in particular, our fandoms in general. All that I know about them resides on Twitter. It's usually a collective of like-minded individuals who really are passionate about one specific property. And they will let you know they're passionate about it at nauseum. The entire look of their page revolves around their love and passion for the property. They might have an avatar that's a character, they might have a banner that's a photo from a movie or a comic book or whatever, and even their username and or handle has a clever callback or reference to something only they and their ilk understand. And so from this viewpoint, I can't say I'm impressed with fandoms in general. In fact, I think they're pretty awful. Now, keep in mind, I'm naive about this, perhaps these people meet up? Uh, they get together and they talk about all the things they love about the property. I know they do fan funding. I know they create their own games and art. Some of the art is not the most tasteful, but we'll move past that whole thing. So to summarize, I don't give a shit about these people. If they leave me alone, I'll leave them alone. But they didn't. I'm gonna give you a second to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and like the video, and, and then we'll get into it. Okay, that should have been adequate time, let's talk. So I just recently put out a Sonic 2 reaction video. I'm talking about the movie trailer that came out. It's got Tails, it's got Knuckles, Jim Carrey's back as Robotnik, has a very similar setting to the first. I talked about how this household has two generations of Sonic fans, myself, the old weathered individual who played the original games, and my son who's been brought up on some of the newer stuff but has also dabbled into the old things. I said we're both fans of Sonic, and I even sold myself short, because I haven't just played Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic and Knuckles, I've also played Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, which are kind of considered the pinnacles of Sonic games. I've played Sonic Forces, which was terrible. I'm going through Sonic Colors right now. I played the one where you team up with different characters from the Sonic universe, like that Bumblebee, and that bat chick. What was that called? Sonic Heroes, I think. So I've been around the Sonic loop. In fact, one of my favorite memories comes from Sonic. It was from Sonic Adventure 1. I pre-ordered my Dreamcast. It came in. Me and my friends picked it up day one that night, got home, and started playing through the game. We were all blown away by it. Just absolutely in love with Sonic Adventure. My son woke up one day and decided he's like a hardcore fan. He's got all the comic books. He loves the movie. He plays the games whenever he can. He's nine. It's harmless. It's, it's unlike the pricks that I dealt with on the internet. We'll get there very quickly, I promise. I'm a fan of video games. I like Sonic's character, I like Tails, I don't care about the other stuff. My son is even more invested and he loves this stuff. He's got a bunch of t-shirts, he, he, he tries to wear blue all the time. Like, it's harmless stuff I don't care about. He's gonna grow past it. And if he doesn't, well, that, well, we'll deal with that later. But I look at my nine-year-old and I think, that's a fan. That's the kind of fan that these companies need and want on their side. They're picking up the merchandise, they're talking positive, they still have negatives to say. What I don't consider fans are people that tarnish the character, that tarnish the brand by going online and bullying others, by making fun of others, by belittling them, saying they don't understand the character, the complexity of Sonic. He's a goddamn rodent that's blue and runs fast. There's no complexity, you idiots. So here's what happened. I put out my video. It was mostly positive. I talked about how it kind of felt generic and it wasn't the most exciting for a sequel. It looks like it's kind of doing the same stuff the first one did. Introducing a new character, fine, whatever. Lots of movies do that with sequels. I was just hoping, since they played it pretty safe with the first one, to bring in a, a more general audience, that they could go a little more out there. Maybe we go to the planet that has Green Hill Zone on it, or, or we, we visit some of these other locations. From what I got in the trailer, they don't really do that. And if they do, it's, it's probably going to be a, a, a minuscule amount, like it was in the first. That's all. But they really harped on one specific thing mostly. And it all started with a character on Twitter that posted this out. Now, I will say this ahead of time. These are public tweets. They weren't private messages. I have no problem showing them here. If they're willing to put themselves out there, then why should I hide them for their benefit? I don't want people to go tweet at them or attack them. I'm not prominent on Twitter. I post my videos, usually they're not very exciting tweets. It's, it's like, check out my new video. Sometimes I'll try to make a joke because I consider myself kind of funny, or at least I attempt to be, and that's the brand. 
Uh, these guys didn't find any humor in this. So here's the tweet that comes at me. Sonic Avatar, naturally. You literally called this scene a Spider-Verse ripoff with a skull. This went out to the Sonic fandom, has 33 retweets as of now and a couple hundred likes. This is a big deal for me. I don't, I'm like a ghost on Twitter. I'm lucky if I get 15 likes on a tweet and a couple retweets. I think one of my biggest claims to fame was I tweeted out I'm really liking the new Selena Gomez album when I was Cody. And I, I find pop music, pop princess music really, really energizing yet calming at the same time when I'm coding a website, which is my actual job. It's not this. Oh Christ, it's not this. The Selena Gomez fandom was all in on my tweet. Sonic, not so much. Three things that jumped out right away. Number one, he uses literally in the tweet, which already triggers me beyond all comprehension. Hate the word and it's overuse. Two, he misrepresents what I said. And three, he uses the gif that's the actual shot from Into the Spider-Verse I was referring to. I hate myself, so therefore I responded to his tweet by saying this. I actually didn't literally call it a Spider-Verse ripoff. I pointed out similarities to Spider-Man. I didn't even say it was a bad thing, just a bit uncreative. I see that I carried the T over, but that's okay, we'll move past it. That was it. You appear to be taking this reaction video far more serious than you should. I thought I was being pretty cordial. I responded to him, clarified some stuff. He responds with this. Not really. I just find saying, OMG, bat with tits cringe, LOL. He quoted that. That's not a quote. I never said any of that. I, I made a joke about Rogue or Rouge, which is one of the Sonic characters. She's the bat with uh, big breasts. I... I I find it hilarious because my son's nine and he's like, dad, why, why does she have big boobs? And I, I, how do you respond to that? I don't know. I honestly don't know why she does sex cells, but she's a bat creature who's not attractive. So it's just kind of weird. I, I'm sure some of that Sonic fandom really thinks it's hot, but not me. Lola Bunny from Space Jam and the Beast from Beauty and the Beast, however, uh, th those I can get behind. I can respect game there. Not this ugly rat thing though, no. He continues, like, whoa, a long running series as a story and cast of characters? What a concept. A movie about said character adapts its source material? Whoa, what the fuck are you talking about even? He's completely gone from the original conversation was about me calling it a Spider-Man ripoff. I mentioned one shot from the film, which was uninspired, of Sonic standing on top of a building, jumping off and doing this pose, and then jokingly stopping some bad guys. We've seen this in so many Spider-Man movies. And they're just gonna go all in on this one little comment. And the only other reason I mentioned Spider-Man to begin with is because in the very next scene, Tom or whatever that character's name is says Sonic, what you're not Batman. And so I was pointing out that he's a lot closer to Spider-Man in terms of his style, his humor. That's not really a Batman thing. That's all, that was it. It was like 10 seconds of the entire video reaction. But he's completely gone now on another tangent altogether about the different characters in Sonic showing up. He's being a smart ass about something I agree with him on and I never even argued about to begin with. I never said anything about other Sonic characters showing up being lame or stupid. Of course they're going to. Why would they not? The bat with the boobs thing was because I looked off camera and said that that character should tell you guys to subscribe to the channel. The kind of dumb humor I've used on many videos where I look off camera and pretend that a character from that franchise is over there or an actor or a director and they're like, hey, you should subscribe. They, they told me we're good friends. That's all it was. Somehow that turns into, um, I don't think Sonic characters should be in the Sonic movie. You're an idiot. You're misrepresenting me on purpose. And I'm for some reason still being very polite. That's fine, I'm not in your world. The joke was for my viewers who have little to no knowledge of the Sonic cast. I have zero issues with the film bringing characters in. Not sure where the second point is coming from. He replies, because calling something uninspired when it's adapting what its source material did just doesn't make sense to me. Listen. It's just getting tiring seeing the franchise you love 
and seeing the exact same jokes from people who don't care about it for the past decade. He called my references to Sonic characters cringe. The jokes were cringe. Fine. I don't, I don't really care if you don't like my humor. I don't live in your furry fantasy world where I have all the information about all the jokes and bashing that other companies have done over the years. I don't know the memes except for Sanic. Gotta go fast. That's funny to me. And the Uganda Knuckles or whatever that is. I didn't know that, you know, people constantly ridiculed Rogue or Rouge. They should. It's the same reason people continue to ridicule the prequels, the Star Wars movies about the sand and not liking it. And uh, the no, it's bad. Okay. You have to deal with it. If you're going to go all in on this fan club you're in, you got to take those criticisms. Otherwise, shut up about it. The, the Sonic games are pretty awful lately. I mean, the, the, they're just pretty embarrassing. And some of the choices, some of these characters are a joke. They should have gone away. Yet, yet they still continue to exist. They went all in on Rogue. I reply, do you think this is what my channel is all about? The last time I talked about Sonic was for the first movie and how I enjoyed it. I can't help that you consume a ton of this stuff so you end up hearing the same things over and over. No. I never claimed as such, but IGN and tons of critics used to do this to Sonic, where they would say the exact same stuff in 2006. Luckily, that's not the case anymore, but bruh, hearing the exact same thing over and over for the Sonic cringe haha -ha funny gets tiring. LEARN HOW TO USE QUOTES! You're not doing it correctly! We get other chime-ins throughout this conversation, by the way. This person says, People, when two unrelated movies have similar camera angles for one second. DJ Warner jumps back in right away. That's not even the worst of it. The dude does the LOL bat with tits, LOL how cringe. There's a character named Vector the Crocodile. This is so uninspired and ripping off Zack Snyder. What is wrong with you people? Okay, now he's talking about the uninspired ripping off Zack Snyder. This was me making a joke towards the end of the video saying, I wouldn't be surprised if Knuckles and Sonic team up and then Tails jumps in for the Holy Trinity pose and Knuckles is all ready. And then Zack Snyder comes on board to direct the slow zoom in shot with the Sonic Adventure 2 song remastered, remixed, whatever. It was a joke. My God, these people. We have a cavalcade of stupidity to follow. Multiple people giving me these hot burn takes. These scenes have entirely different tones. What? Ripping off a scene is when your camera angle's similar. Remember when Spider-Man 3 ripped off Sonic? Oh my god. I, am I a Spider-Man stan now? I don't give a shit. I, I didn't even think the new Spider-Man trailer looked good. I was far more critical of that than I was on this dumbass Sonic film, which I thought looked fine. I said it's going to be another fun family adventure. You guys are pathetic. You are sad little boys. And I honestly hope most of you are little boys that somehow got Twitter access and you're not grown men acting like this. How embarrassing. Spider-Man invented jumping off buildings. We can blame him for the increase of suicides. Laughing my ass off, what the fuck? How many fucking characters have done this roof thing? How the fuck is this a rip off? That's the point I'm trying to make. How many characters have done the roof thing? A lot. I brought up Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse because it's the most recent one that came to mind at only a couple years ago and he does the same pose! It's not original! Oh, he's staying on top of a building, looking out at a city. This is clearly a callback to Sonic Adventure. Look at it, it's like the same thing. Wow, these guys really get us fans. SHUT UP! I'm sorry, is it canon for Sonic to get his shoes from a little girl? Because that's what happens in the first movie. Is that respecting the source material, you jackasses? You're stretching a lot. Where did you find this person's review? YouTube recommended, unfortunately. Two characters do the same motion. Zumungu rip off! Adam does your mother and dies. What? How is it? Who is this an insult to? I'm banging someone else's mom and then I die from it? I don't really understand that. Wow, what a sonic fandom. Really hitting me with those scorching takes. Fucker just called Rogue a Lola Bunny ripoff from Space Jam. Mmm, not mine, not my Batgirl. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, as I went through these tweets and saw how I responded to him, I was far nicer than I needed to be. Uh, because I just realized he put out multiple tweets about my video. 
Uh, here's another one I just found for the first time. If you've seen any video of a grown man shitting on Sonic, you've pretty much seen this video. This man says Sonic stole from Into the Spider-Verse despite it being a callback to Adventure 1. This is a ripoff of a Sony movie. That, that's really funny because I did make that Sonic 1 comparison as like a joke, but they're all in on this. Uh, hilarious. This video feels like a bunch of ranting from someone who has barely touched any Sonic games because they're so complex and rich in history that, that I couldn't possibly comprehend a Sonic film without playing every single game in the franchise. Just so much lore there to mine. The intoxicating minerals that one can only find by going deep into Sonic 06. Critically acclaimed Sonic 2006 Mastercraft or Sonic where he turns into a werehog, or the couple of janky shitty ones that are on rails. Yes, I truly don't understand Sonic the way these guys do, nor do I want to. This is a movie channel, you dumbasses. I'm reviewing the trailer as someone who watches films and has seen a lot of this stuff time and time again. And once more, I didn't even crap on this. I made a couple obvious observations, moved on, had some jokes, I even made fun of myself a few times because unlike you guys, I have a sense of humor. <laughs> this is good. I really want to see the dislike ratio. 145 likes, 26 dislikes so far. That's what I found on that video. Damn. Sorry. I hate to break it to you. This isn't a Sonic channel. I put out videos for the people that have subscribed and watch me. My videos don't go viral. They barely get pushed around that often. I'm surprised they stumbled on it. Then again, Sonic is probably the only thing that ever gets recommended to them. Um, so yeah, it's mostly gonna be people that watch my channel liking the video and understanding where I'm coming from. This is where things go from dumb to full-blown mental handicap. Now people start picking apart my initial tweet, which said the following. Here's my reaction to the Sonic 2 trailer. I've played some of the Sonic games, so I'm pretty much an expert on the subject. Seems like fairly obvious sarcasm there, kind of just joking about how I've played some of the games, so you should trust me on, on my thoughts on Sonic. I'm, I'm definitely the go-to expert. People thought I was serious. Of course they did. I've played some of the Sonic games, so I'm pretty much an expert on the subject equals I don't know shit about Sonic, yet I'll lie and say I know about him to give out a false sense of validation. It doesn't matter that this guy doesn't like the trailer or that he isn't excited for the movie. It's perfectly fine not to be excited for the film. What ticks me off is that he thinks he's an expert and then basically knows next to nothing about the series, LOL. Dead LOL. Fuck you. What did I get wrong about the series, pray tell? Does Sonic go slow? It is... Is he red and not blue? Like, there's not much to him. This person decided to tweet out a Schrodinger douchebags meme. So now I'm a douchebag for giving my honest take on a trailer saying it looks fine. Saying it looks like, like a fun family movie like the first. I'm a douchebag for that. Did I tweet out at the Sonic fandom and say, LOL, you guys are jackasses wasting your time loving something so childish and pathetic? No, I don't care about you guys at all. Uh, I just like to defend my honor. I like to defend myself. Most well-respected critics would just ignore all of this altogether, but I'm not well-respected, nor am I really a critic. I'm just, just a dude making videos that likes movies, likes to talk about them. So yeah, you're gonna come at me, I'm gonna come at you back. This person does my favorite response, ratio, and then a young teenager pointing a gun at my face. Keep it classy, Sonic stands. Keep it classy. Apparently Spider-Man is the only character in existence to jump off the top of a building to save the day. Also, how can you say you're not a Sonic fan while trying so hard to act like you are? <laughs> what? I never said I wasn't a Sonic fan. Who are these idiots? Who the fuck are these people? I, I just, I truly am perplexed by all of this. I said in the video, I'm a Sonic fan. But dumbasses like these people Turn me off completely. Now I hate the character because of you guys. Congratulations, fandom. You're the worst. I was raised to respect others, to, to treat people kindly, you know? Like we're all humans, yet these bottom feeding pathetic piles of ass seem to think they're on a higher playing field because they know about Sonic lore. Like how sad, how, how pathetically embarrassing. And they have the audacity to call me cringe 
because I made some jokes about their beloved characters they've heard a million times because they eat, breathe, and, and watch nothing but Sonic shit. Wow. What, um, just phenomenal job. Phenomenal job, guys. Well done. Well done. I even tried to clarify with some of these people. I said, my logic was that it wasn't the most creative way to open the trailer, using an extremely similar shot and pose from Into the Spider-Verse. That was it. The rest you guys are making up. Ah, uh, yes, because people are definitely gonna worry about how similar Sonic is to Spider-Man when he jumps off a building. Just might go insane even. Just totally missing my point. I, I wasn't concerned with people thinking that was Spider-Man. Uh, I don't I don't think anybody would ever confuse Sonic with Spider-Man. It was just that it was a very uninspired opening shot. That was it. Move on. Move on with the trailer. Hey, this this first shot's not that great. It, it's just like every Sony movie that's come out, like Venom and Spider-Man. And, you know, there's a dark cityscape, our heroes at the top jumping off. Just very kind of generic. I, I was hoping for a more wild introduction to our character for the sequel. That's it. There was a lot more to comb through. I'm gonna leave it here though with this last tweet from a person who decided to give me a tip. Hey, I'm not saying nobody else could find it funny. I just didn't find it funny. <laughs> if it works for your audience, then you do you, man. The, the fact that I'm being laughed at by a person with a Sonic avatar, like in a Chardonnay in hand, thinking like, well, if your audience thinks it's funny, like, I watch Sonic the Hedgehog, I play Sonic games, so I'm from a higher breed, a higher stock of character. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy your little jokes, people. You sheep. Uh, if it works for your audience, then you do you, man. Just please respect others' opinions. I'm sure you do respect others' opinions, I'm just saying. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I reply for the last time, you guys had zero respect for me at the start of this. I politely tried to clarify things and was called a douche. I don't really need advice. Civility would be helpful though. Civility, yeah, it's a term the internet's never heard of before. So that was my first and hopefully last foray into the Sonic fandom. Probably not, though. they might see this and wanna chime in again. In which case, I say bring it. It's just so sad to me. I think the only thing more pathetic than all of this is a grown man, myself, wasting some of Saturday tweeting at these people. What a waste of time and energy. And then to make a video about it. But at least the video will generate me a little bit of revenue. And at the end of the day, that's a hell of a lot better than being a Sonic stand for free. Let me know your thoughts about fandom in the comments below. If you want to go all in on the Sonic fandom or maybe had some interactions with them yourselves, I'd love to hear the horror stories. They seem like really great people from the impression I got. If you are a Sonic fan or a stan or whatever they call themselves. I don't know, what, what, is there a term for these guys? Like blue ballers or something? I don't know, it doesn't matter. Let me know, maybe you're one of the good ones, the quiet ones that just uh, takes in all the content, loves the comics and the lore, and you feel shame about what your brethren are doing online. And that's perfectly acceptable as well. Like the video if you had a good time, make sure to subscribe if you're new here and haven't, and hopefully I'll see you next time. It won't be Sonic related, well, Guess we'll find out. <laughs> Thanks again for watching the video. I'm also on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. I do this show myself. I alluded to it earlier, but I also have a full-time job and family. So it is a passion project for mine where I get to make fun of Sonic stands constantly. It's all I do on this channel, really. I'm just a Sonic hater all around. Oh, and if you're a Sonic fan watching, this is sarcasm, okay? I know you didn't understand it when I tweeted it out, it's sarcasm. If you don't understand, that's understandable because you're, you're playing Sonic games still. <laughs>